Welcome to the London Property Podcast, uh, episode 29. We're back uh, again. I'm here with my colleagues Jaffa and Chris. And today we're going to talk about prime, uh, the prime London market, obviously, as we always kind of do, uh, and the prime UK residential market, because there have been some kind of reports coming out, which are very interesting. It kind of also summar- summarizes a lot of the things that we've talked about previously, yes. uh, namely lifestyle changes, which has fueled a lot of the demand in the prime markets. Mm. Um, so yeah, Jaffa, you've got some interesting figures yes. and some things that, again, the kind of this research just solidifies mm-hmm. what we've talked about previously yeah. in the last two podcasts of yeah. what's been happening. So what um what what you would you like to add on this so one thing that we we all kind of agreed on last in our last two podcasts was look activity's super busy yeah. everyone's getting deals tied up and you know that real that real activity is you know shown in, in the figures that have been released that's right so what what the figures show is that in 2020 the number of sales of 1 million plus homes is up by 60 to 95 percent in june for for the years 2017 to 2019. So if you sh- you know that really shows that activity is really kind of at an all time high, hmm. um, and that you know I'm sure Marius you're seeing that on the ground as well. Yeah, you absolutely. keep telling me how busy you know you guys yeah. are and yeah. you're working late hours and and you know uh, yeah. absolutely yeah I mean tra- transaction levels have been and I think HMRC data that came out two or yes. three weeks ago yes, yes. also kind of proven that you know there has been a massive rush. For a lot of people to kind of get the stamp duty but equally in the prime market so the million pound mark yeah it wasn't the stamp duty fueling it we've mentioned this time and time again but yeah we've been really busy in the last two months 100 mm-hmm. percent. we are seeing i think buyer behavior change slightly now with obviously getting close to that deadline and i think also the ease of restrictions has changed people's behavior. Yes. Um, so we've got obviously people being able to go back to work, which hasn't had an impact on how you know people coming out on viewings because they don't have that flexibility anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, and also people being able to go to restaurants too. I'm sure Chris has been enjoying yes. quite a lot of the beer gardens that have opened <laughs> up in the last two weeks. Um, and the laugh says it all, right? Yes. I've definitely been enjoying the beer gardens. But yeah, people being able to go out to meet with friends. Yeah. And we're seeing the number of viewings um, definitely like kind of a lot less than what we've had in yeah. April, where it was unbearable. Like it was yeah. literally back to back to back to back. And then we came back at like six, seven, and then you had like an inbox full of emails, messages, sales memos to be drafted very very yeah. different so now there's you know you can see the activity kind of yeah. being a bit more relaxed um so i think the activity from 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 i think all of our points of view i think the activity levels are 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 really high but it's also created a shortage in terms of supply because 100%. there's not many prop new instructions coming on the market mm. i mean I, i'm seeing that and the reality is when something does come on the market it's becoming super competitive yeah. Um, the number of things that are properties that are going to sealed bids. I'm not. Are you, are you seeing that as well? Yeah, we've. we've yeah, had I that think everything in, you guys get going to sealed bids. But, but that's the thing. Yeah. You're right in saying stock is an issue now because yes. we've had April where exactly. everything that was good has gone under offer, mm. right? And obviously that will take a month, two, three to kind of materialize mm. in an exchange or a completion. But right now we're faced with not that much great stock, which yes. I think does impact also the number of inquiries you know because uh, properties that have been sitting on the market for a while either they're priced wrong or they don't have outside space those are the properties that are still on the market but anything that's been good it's already under offer um so i think when you do say lack of stock yes it's still and for us it's been around w9 made of a little venice queen's park um we've had a good supply of stock but i think that was people's if you're a seller, right, with the, the marketing message that was, you know, sell now, put it on the market, mm, you know, yeah. and that was January, December, January, Correct, now yeah. is a good time, especially as the weather was a bit better in, in March, you know, sell now yeah. because this is prime totally. time to sell. Yeah. So our people came on the market in end of Feb, March, you know, those properties are probably most likely 90% of the good stock is under offer. And then you're left with the other ones, which, yeah. you know, and then new stock equally, it doesn't come on as often as it used to before. And Correct. I think people have just changed their, their behavior on that. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I think, it's, um, and if you speak to buyers now, they seem a lot more confident than they were before. 
Mm. Like I feel like confidence is really coming back to the prime central London market. I think the confidence part of thing, just driving in uh, to come here, just at the end of your road here, it's super busy. Yeah. We're yeah. in Maida Vale. I mean, if you went back a few months, you drove around London, mm. it felt like a ghost town. The yeah. only people that you would see is delivery drivers yes. or builders like unloading a van. You didn't really see people around. Yeah. And to see people in coffee shops, like mm. it, it just brings back a kind of vibrancy to the city. Yeah, and I, yeah. think I think it yeah. builds upon itself the confidence. I went, yes, I did go to a beer garden <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> and uh, it cute. was uh, it was just back back. it was so amazing. Yeah. I mean, I just walked down. I was like, this is brilliant. Yeah. I'll do and it again tomorrow. I'll, 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 I'll do it again tomorrow. I need nice. to come here more often. Yeah, yeah. It is yeah. Busy. It was I was very busy, yeah. I was justifying that. Yeah, to go. And yeah, there's a lot of positivity yeah. def definitely out there in the marketplace right now. And also at the same time, we're coming, we've had awful weather up until now. Correct. Just started yeah. to get sunny, hopefully a delayed summer. When the weather gets good, the positivity is here. Um, and you've also now got some good statistics coming out. Um, you were just referring to, I think, a Savills article Correct, yeah. a second ago. And um, basically, the prime central market has pretty much been kind of flat to declining for the past several years. Yeah. It's, what, 0.5% this year yeah. increase? Yeah. But the data that these guys have put out is 3% increase for the rem uh, remainder of this Correct, year. Yeah. Yeah. And then next year, a big 7% jump. So going back to what we said in the previous podcast, I think one of us, I can't remember who it was, said um, towards the end of the year, we're going to potentially see a bit of a reverse in terms of the peripheries of London will quieten down. Those have been booming. And then yeah. Prime Central will pick up yeah. in line with national travel coming back. Yeah. And it's very interesting to see that um, have, have put that in there. Yeah. In their, in, it hits the nail on the head with yeah. exactly what we thought, yeah. um, you know, and... Yeah, I think, I think the, it's very, very positive. Yeah, I think the easing of travel restrictions is key. And key, that, that, it, that is, London. that's to come, yeah. isn't it? And it's that, not that's quite gonna, That's going to be yeah. a real, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because you've got the international market, which, let's face it, it's a big chunk yeah. of prime central Definitely. London. It's the people who transact. Yeah. It's, it's very international. Yeah. And yeah. in the W2 market, the Indian buyers probably make up a, what, 25% of yeah. the international yeah. uh, market. Yeah. So, yeah, well, you know, it's still, it's, still, it's still a way off, isn't yeah. it? Open it up to those parts of the, the world. Yeah. I think the, um, the, those international buyers, if they, you know, this is now the right time for the domestic buyers to kind of put their, you know, foot yeah. forward. Yeah. Look at those buy. figures and think, well, do I want to wait until yeah, that's, that's the prices right. go you're five, gonna five six, seven percent? You're going to cash buyers, overseas money. Yeah, um, it makes... that's what we're saying to people now. I'm saying, to, you know, what are you waiting for? You like this property? This the la this the supply isn't going to get yeah. automatically overnight. It's not going to become better. And you're in the market to buy now. Now is the time to do it because. You're not. You don't have the international yeah, market to compete totally, with, totally. right? As soon as these guys come in, whether it's July, August, it doesn't matter. It's going to completely sh yes. change everything because yeah. you're going to be competing with very, very, you know, um, well, yeah. you know, round financially people who have very good, strong positions. Usually, cash buyers yeah. if they're overseas, you know, and it's going to completely change the market. Mm. Um, so yeah, it'll, it'll be very interesting. But I do think the later part of the year, I think is going to be phenomenally I think so as well. for, for, for us central London. for us from in terms of our business plan is to try and tie down as many projects as we can between yeah. now and the end of the year yeah because yeah. we really see 2022 as, as the year where the prime central London market really takes off uh, yeah I think so, you know, if you're going to make a move in terms of buying you really should start making your moves now yeah because I think you know, it's going to take a while to kind of trickle through anyway but yeah the, your your we've now you know, research also shows that we've passed the bottom of the curve. Yeah, uh, and, and it kind of shows that in the media as well. I always like looking at the media in with regards to what's happening in the property market, yeah. not because I don't know, yeah. because I want to see how the public are perceiving when they're reading yes. the press. And now there's there's media articles out which are saying young Londoners are now going to the city yes. and living in beautiful music houses in Marlborough, for example, that they otherwise couldn't even dream that yeah. they could afford. Yeah. So you know, people who can afford to be flexible, who don't have kids or whatever, who want to live in the city centre, they're getting like a giant discount. And see these newspaper articles saying this, people are reading that. I think, well, well, that's well, it drives that's, that's, behavior. That's, yeah, it yeah. will drive behavior. It's insane when you think like you could buy now in Marylebone, prime Marylebone, not normal Marylebone. 
prime marriage going for 1250 1300 yeah, 1400 yeah. that's insane you had me look at a place that you yeah. were you were you were buying yeah. yeah and then i think you were getting that for a really good price that but you like, you ended up walking yeah, away from yeah. it just for the fact that what it, it didn't just right it didn't right, take yeah. one of the boxes yeah, yeah. Mm. so um but that just like goes to show yeah. Yeah, it, it, yeah like look at w2 again you know you can pick up stuff for a thousand it's crazy well, we just I exchanged mean, on something for 750 pounds a square foot so. <laughs> yeah but the, the north side yeah. of the park is incredible value i mean made fetching on average now a thousand a foot but then yeah. you can go that way exactly um in towards hyde park you know Connor village and those places and you get yeah. the same kind of i think it's re- look anyone looking at prime central London now even if you look at it across the world spectrum it's incredibly good value mm. yeah like, I think you were, you were bringing some statistics in regards to New York uh, uh, it was regard to global cities and exactly, London yeah. London yeah. in terms of central was was at the at the bottom of the inflation index like the house price exactly. inflation index which kind of shows you it's probably only got one way to to, 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 go. to, to yeah. go right yeah and the reason it's at the bottom is yeah I mean inflation if we look at it like across the board is starting to increase by a significant amount and a lot of global cities around the world property prices are going absolutely crazy yeah. um so people realize think, look inflation is going up i either leave my money in the bank and it starts eroding yeah or i put it in stocks eroding and stock. that's a very emotive word <laughs> <laughs> but stock yeah, right. shares just, is an option but then again yeah, that's that very volatile well. at the moment yeah and, and then yeah. you have property which is the safest bet for for most people to put their money yeah. into and that's another driver which will really start impacting that yeah. together with the fact that borrowing is you know it's a very cost of borrowing mm. is very cheap mm. yeah all um, time low yeah that's it money is quite cheap to, to borrow I think now you've got so many positive factors when it comes to prime central london you've got another one which is you know the vaccination program yeah we're well ahead of the curve well ahead of the rest of the world in terms of vaccinations and I think that's that's a big driver in terms of confidence. People the, are now out and about, like you said, and you know they're not putting off buying buying their next property or buying an investment or buying, no. um, you know. No. Yeah. Even kind of walking out on the streets and stuff, people are less like yeah, picking up the children from school. Yeah. A few people now are not really wearing the masks as yeah. much as they otherwise were. Like they're in the queue and they're just kind of putting them on. And before everyone arrived in the mask, yeah. you can feel like. Yeah. That there's a sense yeah. and people can feel that and mm. yeah um it's good for confidence because ultimately you know property yeah. is it is about confidence for people sure. have to have the confidence yeah. to make the biggest investment decision of their life yeah. so yeah. it is coming back uh it's good yeah. and um well just put things into perspective if you put things into perspective where yeah. 2020 how the property market performed mm. in 2020 my goodness, like 2021, of course, it's going to be great. Definitely. 2022, when yeah. all of this, you know, different variants and stuff, we're, we've, we've, we're going to learn how to live with this, yeah. how to keep it under control. Because I think right now where we are, we're at that point where we're coming from, we're coming from a period where it's been very, you know, with strict restrictions, etc. But now we're working towards keeping COVID in, under control, living yeah. with it, being able to actually be on top of it. It's not going to disappear. It doesn't disappear. It's something that ultimately I think they're working towards keeping under control, like yeah. you have the, the you know this, the yearly flu and things like that. Yeah. So if you look at that and and look at the past of how the market's done in the last 12, 18 months, of course it makes sense for these forecasts and for the research data to to say yeah, of course lifestyle still going to drive yeah, uh, drive people's behavior to move throughout for the bigger space for whatever reason. Um, the vaccination program is only going to have more and more positive impacts for the market, and then you've got the international market bringing more people into London, which is like so desirable for yeah. a lot of people. So of course you know um, it, it it feels like we've been saying the same thing for the last couple of months. And it's quite interesting because it's the same as you and I did in his podcast. It yeah. feels like it's just getting it's like, a step, a step yeah, closer. Yeah. That's exactly and yeah. the news that we're seeing is slightly more positive each time. And uh, I think we, if we just wound forward three months, I think I think the biggest thing, like we've always said, is the opening up of the international mm-hmm. problem. It's not quite there yet. Like well, what you is, said, we feel market, like we're yeah. ahead of a lot of other yeah, countries. Definitely. Um, particularly those like India and Pakistan yeah. and places like that, which London will need Prime Central in yeah, order for definitely. to get a full recovery. But the, yeah. I feel like you know, like yesterday, I, I was out with some friends. Um, I feel like the international market, you know, is already starting to trickle, yeah. trickle yeah. through. Yeah. Like yesterday, and I, I spent like. 
how most of the countries, right? What is it? Five days, and then you can test. Yes. And you can re so, yeah. test release. One one of the guys I was with yesterday, he was from South Africa, hmm. but he came through Portugal. You know, you know, he obviously did all his quarantine and everything, and came through Portugal, and he's he's here and he's looking to buy. It. Hmm. You know, these guys are coming through already. I think slowly know, they are exactly. Filled, yeah. He's pretty motivated then, yeah, coming yeah. around the back door in order to, to kind of to get in. <laughs> to kind of go for it. By the way, yeah. we are not, you know, advising people to go for different countries to of come. Course. To the, UK. <laughs> <laughs> the government rules on traveling yeah. need to be respected, and you have to do a quarantine. But yeah. I think a lot of the, the countries on the list, on a serious note, yeah. you can quarantine. You quarantine for five days exactly. if you're on the amber list. That's the amber list and then you can test mm. and then you can be released if the test is negative Definitely. so five days i think a lot of people yeah. are waiting you know if you're coming let's let's face it, a lot of the people in in central london uh, middle easterns and the far east they don't come for a week you know because no. it's quite a long way yeah. so you're coming for at least a days, month yeah. right longer yeah. right yeah, they come for at least a month so then what is five days of quarantine if you're planning to stay here a month we know they spend the whole summer in, in places like, you know, Hyde Park and, and other places, Mayfair, Knightsbridge, etc. Et mm -hmm. So um, I think, yeah, you're right. We are starting to see more and more people come through, but we're still, you know, um, I think it's going to be a lot better back towards like July, August when when things kind of open up properly. You just gave me a reminder, because um, I, I had a flat that was on short lets, Airbnb, before all the COVID situation yeah. hit. Yeah, yeah. And then I took it off because there was no market at all for short lets. It'd be quite interesting to see what that market is like now. Yeah. I don't know if you guys do short lets. We, we, do, we, we, we don't. Short you do a bit yeah, of short lets. Uh, I mean, I've got two, three inquiries. I mean, I had one recently on Airbnb. Like one, Airbnb not really Airbnb, more. Uh, the and these, were, these will not be Londoners, treatment. these will be international. Yeah, international, he's come for treatment, international. treatment yeah. and they, um, yeah, mm. they, are, they are picking up. So I do think that market's slowly coming back. Yeah, but I mean, that's I, great. You know, I, don't, I literally got off the phone before we started this podcast and, you know, just the idea of vaccinations and all that. You know, Johnson's and Johnson's are now releasing a one-shot vaccine. Um, just shows, you know, us being able to, you know, deal with a COVID going forward. Yeah. It's going to get, you know... The more we get to the grips with how to deal with that, I think the more the confidence will come back, the more things move forward with that. Yeah, and the more money will flow into yeah. the economy and yeah. the recovery will be stronger. For and sure. Equally, London will be best place to, again, to kind of be at the forefront with New York and other cities and, you know, mm. um, shaping the new era, I guess. But yeah, property look, it's, uh, we've been saying that for months now, yeah. and weeks and whatnot. Having a summary, the latest research is not just what we're saying on the ground and the activity that we've experienced, like from your side as a developer yeah. slash investor and from our side. I think it is like if you're in the market to buy now, yeah. anything that's good, definitely you have to just Don't really hold back, get, yeah. yeah, because you're looking at more higher costs of purchasing well, in, in a year's time. 10% ten, ten, ten by the end of 2022, yeah. Yeah. according to yeah. Savills. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, ten percent on well, a million yeah. is a hundred. Is a hundred more competition? Yeah, you know, like you said, it makes no sense to kind of put it on, put it, put it off. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what advice do we have for sellers? <laughs> sellers Again. possibly hold. Yeah, I mean, uh, next if I, year. Yeah, I mean, put or put it on for a price that you think. I mean, if, if the way I see it in in our patch around here, if you haven't caught this wave of activity that yeah. we've had in March and April, I mean, just. Put it on hold until the later exactly. part of the year, Definitely. maybe towards the end of the year, maybe to early twenty twenty two. Because you're right, yeah. if the forecast is, forecast is right, and we're looking at price central, prime central London um, to have an increase in prices around what seven percent was it? yeah seven percent yeah. now it was six um, seven percent next year yeah that's what I'm mm. saying. So if you're looking at that, mm. of course I would want yeah. to sell with a seven percent on the back end of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's uh, that's quite interesting. But, but then if you have to sell to buy, then I guess but then that's where it's exactly really interesting because it creates a you know a very catch twenty two situation. Yeah, yeah, exactly, because you, you want to trade in the same market. So realistically, that that's where this whole lifestyle uh, bit comes in because a lot of people are thinking, why would I wait? Because I need this outside space. I need a bigger property. I'm going to trade in the same market. Exactly. Let's do it. Yeah. That's what's fueled a lot of So it. if you are looking to sell, make sure that you sell, but make sure you're in a chain and buy something else. Don't exactly. step out into rented for a year or 18 months yeah. and then realize, oh, you know. Well, you'd be paying more. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Definitely. All right. Well, look, I think we'll, uh, that's, uh, we've hit our 15, 20 minute mark already. <laughs> 
Um, but the takeaway is that, you know, Prime Central London is an incredible opportunity to buy now. And um, it's always been an incredible opportunity, but there are periods where a really good time now to, you know, to see how the next couple of months unfold. I think it's going to be very positive given what's happening with, with COVID and getting more um, control over it. Um, so if you are in the market, by all means, you know, I think it's a, it's time to trade, but depending on your circumstances, of course, everyone's got different circumstances. And equally, if you obviously need help from us in Prime Central London, then the three of us are, are here to effectively help you, whether you're looking to buy, to sell, to invest, to develop, to refurbish. We've, we've basically got all angles, angles covered. And um, yeah, equally, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a message on the social platforms. You can find us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and pretty much all the social media platforms nice. out there. So we're out there as much as we can. And we look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. Thanks for paying attention. Okay.